Welcome back to another video. Today I'm playing a game called Stardew Valley. Um, this is a what I'm starting that my starting information. Let's get straight into it. For those of you who don't know, Stardew Valley is a game where basically about farming. Might not be very popular with the um, crowd. Oh my god, that's loud. But um. It's a relatively old, older game, but yeah, let's just see how it goes. First, I'm going to start off by clearing off my field. As you can probably guess, I've already played this. I'm absolutely in love with this game. I wanted to play on my Switch, but my, um, but my, I don't know how to record on my Switch, so I'm doing it here. This is the mobile app. First, let me turn this volume down. That's, that's annoying. Um, don't care about that. Music volume all the way down, sound volume around there. No, that's a bit too low. Controller vibration. That's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. So now I'm gonna go chop down a few more trees, see if I can get up enough wood to make a chest. That's how you should all, this, the first thing you should always do in this, these games. Uh, if I'm doing, if I'm gonna do a series on this game, what I'm gonna do is um, record a day every video, like maybe three or four days every video. Most likely just three days. And then see how it goes from there. Oh wait, I got enough to make a chest. I don't need to chop down this tree. Okay, but I gotta get rid of something. Um, let's go with the seeds. The wild seeds. Alright. I'm going to place down this chest here. All right, now, whenever you start the game, you automatically get like 15 parsnip seeds. Not the best for money, but it's something. So yeah, I'm gonna hold, it, hold the ground. No. That's, um, that, not allowed to curse on YouTube anymore. Uh, no, God. And move that over there. All right, now I gotta water the crops. Water the crops. Crop the waters. Water, water the crops. Crop the waters. Now I gotta go refill my watering can. Now I could go to bed and just wait so that wait, so that I can get the um, fishing rod, which is what you get on the second day of the of the uh, the second day you play in the game. But I need to start taking care of the farm, getting rid of all these trees. Clearing out the rocks, etc., etc. No, wait. There. <coughs> Put down that. And I'm almost exhausted. 
I should not have done that, but I just can't stand leaving the stumps behind. <clears throat> Run or slowly crawl. Uh, this is rather frustrating. Turn on the fireplace, which is something I always do. Check the TV. This is for all you green greenhorns out, out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to eat to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. That's actually pretty good advice. Be Wait, hold on, first I need to check the weather for tomorrow. But yeah, that's actually pretty good. Pretty good advice because not only does that help with your foraging skill and helping you to earn a bit of cash, it's also a really good idea to stockpile food for the mines, which opens on day five. Alright, sunny day tomorrow. I, well, I mean, usually the rain doesn't start until I think the fourth day of, of spring. I'm pretty sure that's like a scripted rain day. So, oh, there's the letter. No, that's the wrong letter. There's the letter. Hello there, I just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime, I've got something for ya. Willie. If a guy named Willie invites you down to the beach, saying he's got something for you, do not go. That is creepy as hell. Just saying. Especially not if he's trying to give you his rod. No means no, Willie, that's... Freaky, freakishly weird. Alright, I'm going. Nope, nope, didn't want. Didn't fill my watering can. All right, to the beach. Let me move that up there, actually. Nope. Can I not put that in the middle of my screen? Are you kidding me? All right, it'll, it'll do fine down there. Nice. Got a forageable. Daffodils are a pretty good gift for some of the villagers. Usually I'd skip this, but since I'm doing a video on YouTube, I guess I should record it. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. I'm glad to finally meet ya. Good to finally meet ya. Sorry, I can't read for some reason. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved up enough to buy me a new fishing rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. Willie, don't want to have to say this to you, bro, but nobody wants your rod, okay? Keep it in your pants. It's important to me that the art of fishing stay alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop someday. Once in a while, sorry. Once again, can't read for some reason. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, me shop's back open now. So come by if you need some supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Heh <laughs> heh. That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. That's a bit strange. I mean, that's enough of that. Alright. 
His shop is not yet open, so I guess I'll just catch a few fish real quick. Oh god, this is so much harder than it is on the switch on on the phone. There we go. Why is there a sunfish in the ocean? In this game, sunfish are lake fish, aren't they? I don't know. And, oh, nope, 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 up. Oh, caught it. 30. That's probably worth like 40 gold. Oh, snipe. Ah. Ah, well. Alright, bit of advice for first time Stardew Valleyers out there. It is a, while you might not think it, it is an actual brilliant idea. It is a brilliant idea to go in here and buy the trout soup. I always buy it whenever I play the, this game because it that one extra level really does help at the very beginning for fishing. And another good idea... I find it's better to fish right around here. So what I do is I'll sit down my chest. Store that away, that away. Move one, nope. Move one of these in here. And then eat the trout soup. And then cast me rod. With fishing, what the levels, what the increase of your fishing level does for you, basically it allows you to ca cast out further, and it also allows, it makes your fishing, the, the little green bar that I'm trying to move around to keep that fish in, it makes that bar just the smallest bit bigger. And by fishing out, when your line can reach further into the water, you have a better chance of catching higher quality fish. Let's go! Gold star. This is usually how I make my money in the beginning of these game. In the beginning of the game, <clears throat> it's a quick way to get, gain some ex some money, increase your fishing. Um, in my opinion, the fishing skill is the easiest one to increase. <clears throat> Farming is next. Then I'd say foraging, then mining, then combat. If you want, if you want to know, the this is the levels. Um, this is in the game. You could start relationships with people. This is that page. There's like, I think there's like 60, 30 some odd people in this game. Two very different numbers, but I honestly don't care about the social aspect of this. I very rarely attempt to try the the social aspect of this game. <clears throat> I just like seeing the number, the money go up. Uh, I got some trash. Alright. This is going to be the last day I can play for this video. I'll, I'll wait till the, till 10pm to go to sleep. 
and then I'll have it in the video there but until then let's get some fishing done <clears throat> I mean after all I did use up some trout soup that's 250 gold that I, I wasted on that one thing of trout soup I highly doubt I'll be able to make the money that I spent back up, but it is better in the long run to raise your fishing skill. That way you can <coughs> catch better fish quicker. And that little box up there, it has a, it has like items in it. Basically, um, iron sometimes, coal sometimes. Maybe an artifact. Only way to know is to wait till we finish. Oh, and if you do plan on playing this game, the wiki is your friend. Uh. Alright, let's see what I get. Ooh, pretty good haul, actually. Don't care about the... Don't care about the, tra the, the bait that can go in the trash. But, oh, and also, if you're playing this game, whenever you catch, like, garbage, uh, broken CDs, planks, um, driftwood, any of that, any of the so-called trash junk items, keep those, because I think it's at level 3 or level 4 that you get the recycler, and you can turn those junk items into useful items like iron, quartz, stuff like that. But I'm going to be doing this series as I do all of YouTube so far uncut because I don't really know how to edit yet. So that'll have to wait till I find out. I can figure out how to edit. Um, I hope my audio is recording because if it's not, this whole video has been a waste. Because I'll have to restart from the beginning. Oh, well. Come on. I can't wait till I get I can upgrade my fishing rod to the um the fiberglass rod because the, the fiberglass rod has allows me to use bait. And once I can use that bait, it'll make catching fish so much quicker. Uh got greedy. Oh, that was a fail. Come on. There's also, this game is like amazing in, in and of the fact that it was like, originally it was made by one person. I mean, which might not seem too shocking for most people because like, it's 2D. But this game has like, it's like, there's so much depth in this game. So much you could do, so much like, replayability which is hard to find in games nowadays because like they focus just like on making a linear storyline I think that's what I mean it I think linear means what I think it means in this context uh, I should probably shut up talking while I'm trying to fish hold on Anyways, this game doesn't, like, focus on, like, having only, like, one path you can walk. Because, like, there are some people who, who when they play this game, like me, they go heavy on the fishing. Or there are some that go heavy on the, like, social aspect. Or there are some that may, may go, like, heavy on the farming or the mining or the combat. But I 
I like to, like I said, I like to focus on the fishing. Like there's a YouTuber I, I I watch whenever I'm in the mood. His name is Dangerously Funny, and he has some real weird videos when about playing Stardew. Um, but yeah, it's just like one of the he's he has he does such a good job of like the, portraying the fact the fact that. There are so many ways you could play this game. There's not like a set way to play this game. Like there are so many, like so many games these days have. Like with Call of Duty or some shit like that, you can only do one thing, and that's shoot people. Or like with Pokemon, you gotta focus on catching your Pokemon. Or so many games these days have like one thing that they're that is expected of you to do in each in in the gameplay. But like with this game, you can play the the entire game without ever raising, like, without ever farming even a single crop, which makes it a masterpiece in my opinion. Oh yeah, by the way, the, you probably figured this out, but the bar on my, on, on the bottom, at the bottom of my screen with the E above it, basically means, um, is, is your energy. And right now, ah, oh shit, I'm about to, pa uh, like I said, I'm about to pass out, so I'm going to have to head home. Call it a day early. Uh, I might as well click. Can't click. Anyways, I need to get my diamond out of here so I can sell it. Usually, it most people will tell you it's probably a better idea to keep to like hold the diamonds because you can use those for um the uh the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the um, 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 um 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 museum. But I honestly don't care about the museum. Oh, right. I, my inventory is so full. Anyways, I honestly don't care about the museum. So what I'm going to be doing is selling all the valuable items I get because... I mean, I do plan on doing farming in this go-around. Maybe I'll do the social aspect as well. But if you can get up enough money with farm... Like, most people... I'm, I'm probably not going to bother too much to, to do the mining too hard. But, uh, I am going to do farming because, like, w if you have enough money, you can buy all the materials you need from, like, mining. Okay, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Alright, I'll end today's video by going to sleep and seeing how much money we earned in the on the second day of spring. Go to sleep with night, yes. Level one fishing. Only a thousand, which isn't bad for your first for your second day. Alright guys, that's gonna be about it for today's video. If you like this video, then please do consider subscribing. Join the channel. Um hit the like button, all that extra crap that we are that youtubers are almost forced to say at the end of the videos but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace